Nikola Tesla, The Man Who Dreamed in Lightning, New York, 1893, a theater full of gasps. Bolts of blue light arc from Tesla's hands. The crowd sees magic. He sees mathematics, energy, dancing to the rhythm in his mind. He believes that knowledge should be free, so he talks too openly, shares too much, and forgets to profit from what he's given. Investors see a spectacle. He sees the future. He builds alternating current, gifts it to the world, and signs away his royalties so others can finish the work. Edison sells, Westinghouse profits, and Tesla walks away, certain the next dream will finally pay for the last one. He's a genius with currents and coils, but hopeless with contracts and coins. He can harness lightning, but not lunch. He could light a city, but never keep his own lights on. He lives alone in hotel rooms, crowded with blueprints and pigeons. The world moves on to safer men in suits, but every hum of current, every spark in a socket, still whispers his name. He wasn't made for profit, he was made for wonder. He dreamed in lightning, lived in solitude, and left us the current still running beneath our lives. Because sometimes being too much isn't a flaw, it's the price of lighting the dark. Subscribe for more of History's Misfits.